Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas blamed Hamas for the failed assassination attempt on Palestinian Prime Minister Rami Hamdallah, escaped unhurt after an explosion targeted his convoy in Gaza last Tuesday. Gaza is dominated by Hamas, which is a rival of Abbas's Fatah that controls the Ramallah-based government. Well, for more on this, Mohanad Alami joins us now from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Hi, Mohanad. So what sanctions might Abbas take against Hamas in Gaza and what does this mean for the ordinary citizens? Well, it's mainly cutting the fund down to Gaza, starting from electricity, starting from paying half of the salaries for the employees who belong to the Ramallah government, to the West Bank government, and to the Fatah-controlled uh, uh, government here in the West Bank. It might also uh, lead to cut uh, down some of the funding when it's become to agriculture, when it's become to education, and so on. Now, what Mahmoud Abbas, according to analysts here, what he want to do, he might think of an issue of trying to get the public uh, go against Hamas movement in Gaza and try to force Hamas to round, surround Gaza or to bring it back down to Fatah ruled administration here in the West Bank. But this is what not Hamas want. This uh, uh, decision will affect only the people of Gaza Strip, the ordinary people of Gaza Strip. Hamas will survive as it's getting funding from international community, from Arab countries supporting the Islamic movement down in Gaza. But it depends now on the situation, it depends on the well, almost two million Palestinians who are living in Gaza and how they will suffer after this uh, more than uh, 10 years of uh, Hamas taking over Gaza, how they will suffer as they are living inside a, a siege uh, that mainly in, since the last 10 years.